This fine Sunday evening, I am on the hunt for mushrooms. Not to eat because I won't trust myself with any mushroom in the wild, but to photograph, of course. And with me, I have my Kodak Z812. And I'm going to get right into it. We put it in macro mode, which is the flower on the screen. And I'm going to zoom in on that rascal. And let's see here. Not too close. F-stop needs to be adjusted. Can't have it that high. F6.3 is too much. ISO 100. Um, where is that guy? There it is. Too, too close still. Okay, new approach. From up high and going down. There it is. One more. Nice. So why would I be out here photographing mushrooms? Well, it's because yesterday I didn't. And yesterday I was on the Vasa single track on my mountain bike, driving, driving, riding by all these beautiful mushrooms on the sides of the trail on the single track. And I didn't have a camera with me. Of course I have my phone camera, but it's just not the same thing. And I was wishing that I had brought a camera. So today I thought I would remedy this mistake. And now I'm at Refit with my Kodak Z812 and just going to mosey the property and see what we can find. Check out this little guy right here. Look at that beautiful red-orange color. I'm not going to photograph this one because the light's not that great, but just look at that beautiful mushroom. One of the best things about looking for mushrooms is becoming intimate with the landscape that you're photographing. And that's one of the best things about natural history photography. It can encompass everything. And of course, the silly thing is about all this, you know, mushrooms are basically the reproductive organ of the plant. So really, intimacy is kind of a play on the words, if you will. But just gorgeous. Look at that thing. All right, I did find a similar mushroom to photograph. It might be the same species, but anyway, as you can see here, I have my camera in the flower mode and aperture priority. And of course, the flower means macro or close up. ISO is 100, which is reasonable for the light. I might go to 200, we'll see. But anyway, let's zoom in on that thing. As you can see, this is live, and it's zooming. And check out the texture on this mushroom. And the texture on there is because it's been munched on. Numerous animals rely on these things for sustenance this time of year. One more. There we go. Beautiful. Pretty happy with what I've seen so far, and I've only just begun. I can't wait to see what's ahead. Of course, in photographing anything from the ground, or anything for that matter, it's really important to do different angles for different perspectives, especially for stuff on the ground, because that really emphasizes the subject. And I'm hoping I can focus on this rascal enough from the ground. This is oh, right by the camera. That's not going to help. Let's see here from the side. Nope. Well, this is a good example of what not to do. All right, let's see here. All right, let's try this again. All right, let's see here, lower to the ground. This is a cool mushroom. I love it. The textures are gorgeous. Gorgeous textures. Nope. Ooh, I like that one. Kind of abstract looking. I'll try one more. Yeah, textures everything. Of course, light is too, but especially the mushrooms, texture is so interesting. Gorgeous. Yes. Ooh, 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 ooh. And just a bit further down the trails, this beautiful guy. I want to say a ghost mushroom, but that's probably terribly inaccurate, so I apologize to any expert foragers out there. Maybe in the comments below, drop me a line and tell me what this mushroom is, but here we go. I'm not going to spend too much time getting set up for this shot. I'm just going to do it because it's in a hard spot to get a tripod without disrupting the ferns around it. Ooh. Look at that beauty right there. I'm going to photograph this rascal. 
Yeah, look at that. So gorgeous. One of the best parts about being a natural history photographer is just being able to slow down and appreciate the beauty of all these things. Like this mushroom in front of us. Wow. Just that glow from the evening sun coming through the canopy and the ferns underneath in the understory in the forest floor. What a cool specimen. Yeah, that, that is pretty nice. This is what I love being out here. A little bit more sun, yeah. Just gorgeous. I think we have just found our last subject for the night. Yeah, check out this guy right here. I think I'm blocking the sun. There we go. Look at this guy on this fallen stick here. Is this a stick or a log? At one point it's a log. I don't know. Anyway, check out this beautiful specimen. It has like browns and oranges and like a tan and yellow thing going on. Very scientific, but hey, I'm not an expert with mushrooms, like I said, but this is a beautiful subject to photograph. And for this shot, I need to shoot from up top for sure to really take advantage of that beautiful glow and color up on top. Yeah, check that out. See what this does. There's just so many textures and ways the light hits all these mushrooms. It's just gorgeous. Before I conclude today's short video, um, just want to say thank you so much to all of my subscribers. It's so much, so much appreciated. And I'm hoping to get up to 200 soon. I'm at 100 and 108 right now. That's pretty cool. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Share these videos. And of course, until next time, get outside, bring a camera with you, get close to the ground, get some fresh air. Thank you. Curiosity killed my curry. You're becoming a curious one. Progress is looking an awful lot like entropy.